And welcome to Filmmaking Today. I'm your host, Bojan Dulabik. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to add a USB 3.0 card to your old Mac Pro. So if you're like me and you have an old Mac Pro, a 2008 or 2009 model, there's a very quick solution to a problem that we all have, which is we don't have USB 3.0. Now, I refuse to upgrade to the new Mac Pro. I think it's a step in the wrong direction. I don't think it's for pros. I think it's just a ridiculous overpriced computer. I love my Mac Pro, but the thing that is a big pain is not having USB 3.0. Apple officially doesn't support USB 3.0 on this computer, but that's not a problem. We don't need them. Who cares? There's a very cheap solution for $25 to $30, which will give you USB 3.0 in all of its glory. So I got this uh, USB 3.0 card from Orico, and so let's do a little unboxing video. So this is what the box looks like. I got it off of eBay, and it was about $26. Now there's different models. I got the one with four ports. You can get the one with two ports and then I think you can get a combination of uh, maybe eSATA and USB 3.0, something like that. So this is what it looks like. You've got the card, you've got the CD, which you really don't need. It's a small thing, which will give you a lot of power. So let me show you how to install that. So it's very simple to install, open up the Mac Pro and then just make sure you remove that little uh, bar, metal bar over here, and then just slide the card in there. It's a basic PCI Express card. Put the bar back in and close it up and boom, off you go. Well, that's what I thought, but turns out I was wrong. So here's the thing. Apparently the USB 3.0 four port cards need to be powered by the motherboard. Now from my research, the two port cards don't need to be powered, but I wouldn't believe that I would still make sure they're powered. And here's another problem. The power cables are different on the Mac and on Windows. So I had to get this little guy. So this has to be powered by the motherboard. One end goes into the card, the other one goes into the motherboard. So that's what I did. I plugged it into where one of my hard drive goes and I had to saw off this little piece of plastic because it wouldn't fit into the port. Now that meant I had to take out an existing hard drive in order to plug this cable in. So I had to figure out where I'm going to plug this hard drive in. Now, luckily on the Mac Pro, I do have two bays for my optical drives. I'm only using one. So technically I can actually use the other to plug in the hard drive. In order to do that, I had to get a five inch to a 3.5 inch bracket, which is this guy right here. So that allowed me to plug in my existing hard drive into one of the bays for my optical drive. Now I could have converted the hard drive into an external drive, but the thing is eSATA is still going to be faster than USB 3.0. So I wanted to make sure I maximize my internal drives as much as possible. So let me show you some speed tests. So right now I'm copying a file onto an external drive from my internal drive using a USB 2.0 connection. Now, as you can see, it's, you know, it's pretty slow. And so next, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to plug in the external hard drive to my USB 3.0 port. And as you can see here, it's much faster. So there's your speed difference, guys. I mean, it is significantly faster. Now, I had to go through some rigmarole in order to connect it up, but you don't have to do that. Just make sure when you get your USB card that there is a power cable that works for the Mac. Now, even with the additional purchases, this card cost me about $40, which is still nothing compared to the speeds that I'm getting. And I've been using it now for a while, and I'm actually editing a 4K movie right now using the USB 3.0 card, and it works like a charm. The only thing that's a bit goofy, the label is actually upside down, which, you know what? Who cares? I can live with it. I don't see it anyway. It's in the back. I just plug in the device that I need to plug in. So this is a great, cheap and quick way to add a lot of speed to your drive. Just keep in mind, you need power. So get the appropriate cables. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you like this one, please like it and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all the social media platforms. Just type in Bojan Dulovic.